It's your boy, Big Tank Hank, coming at you with another video. This video is going to be a spotlight of my favorite aquarium plant. Uh, this video is made for Riley at Fish Keeping Jamaica. Thank you, sir, for this opportunity. My favorite aquarium plant is hornwort. I have live bearers, uh, guppies, um, looking into getting some platies, but right now I'm focused mainly on, on guppies. And hornwort I've found to be very, very good for fry coverage. Protect those fry at all costs. Research what plant works best for you. For me, it's hornwort. The uh, hornwort is like a stem plant, but with bushy, fibrous uh, leaves. They look like small thorns, ergo the horn in the name hornwort. They grow very, very fast and get thick. They're not a high light uh, plant. They can thrive very well in low lighting. Hornwort can also be used in scaping. You can plant a hornwort as though it is a stem plant. Though it is not, um, very, very uh, root heavy. As a matter of fact, you don't see roots at all. It takes in nutrients through the stem and the leaves. But if you plant it, it thrives just as well, grows just as well. deep green and can give you the illusion of a pine forest in your fish tank. Hornwort, very good plant for beginners in the aquarium hobby. Doesn't take anything to grow hornwort. Just put it in some water that contains fish, snails, poop, and it'll thrive. It grows very fast. Propagating hornwort. All you have to do is just break it or cut it in any section. You don't have to have uh, nodes where roots are gonna grow out or where a limb is gonna come out. Hornwort doesn't care. You just break it, cut it, do whatever shape you want, however big a piece you want, and just put it in the water. And it grows, it does its thing. Hornwort is an invasive plant in some places can choke out streams and ponds in no time. One thing about hornwort grown outside, it becomes very, very bushy. Um, that's the best kind of hornwort I found for myself is the, is the hornwort that has been propagated and uh, harvested from outside ponds. Very big, very broad, um, looks like the tail of a raccoon, ergo, the other nickname for hornwort is coon's tail because it's very, very bushy and broad. Be careful um, when getting rid of this plant because of that simple reason. Um, you wanna let it dry out and put it in your trash. Don't put it in any, you know, throw it away in any waterways thinking that you're doing, you know, a good deed because it can cause issues. I've tried guppy grass, aloe day, the different mosses. Only thing that I was successful at keeping and keeping it very well was hornwort. So if you're gonna have a favorite plant, that would be a good reason to have it. So signing out of this video, thanking Riley for allowing me to be a part of this series and saluting all the other fellow YouTubers that have given in their videos also. Thank you and have a good day.